No, no, no. Kwesi, what do you think it would be like to work somewhere for 49 years? For 49 years? You better love that job for 49 years. Because I ain't trying to work no place for 49 years. That's too much. You know Manny, who's retiring? Yeah. Has been here for 49 years. At BFS. It's crazy, bro. It's right. crazy. Yeah, you know what? To do the same thing over and over again for 49 years. 49 years. I'm thinking that maybe, you know what? I quit. I have to do these interviews for Andy, but I'm quitting. I'm sorry, Peter. You quit, bro? Yeah, you're going to have to take over for me. Am I have to take over? Yeah, please, take this camera for me. All right, man. Hey, Paul. What do you think about working somewhere 49 years? Hello, and welcome to The Life, an e-news media presentation. I'm Andy Cohen, your host. Today's season finale features facilities manager Manny Narvez, who after 49 years of dedicated service to Brooklyn Friends School, is retiring. But first, did you know we have a school song titled The Blue and Gray? Here's your chance to learn it by singing along with Piper's 4B singers. Hey, Manny, Manny. I'm here with Manny Narvez, who is going to be retiring, maybe, although you've told me this before. <laughs> so you started in the ni- uh, Actually, 19- Actually, I started in 69. I was hired by uh, Stuart Smith, the head of school. How did you find out about the job? Actually, I, was, I, I, I didn't find out. I was approached. I was working with a cleaning company and we used to maintain the building at uh, Skimmerhorn at nighttime. He says, in the near future, we're gonna need someone to take care of the building. And, and then shortly thereafter, they purchased, uh, they purchased 375 uh, Pearl, right. and that was a major renovation, right? It was a total renovation, mm-hmm. top to bottom. Manny, come in, Manny. Manny, come in. Manny, I need your help. What's the main difference between what it was like working at Brooklyn Friends then and now? In the beginning it, it was a little rough was because I had to be here at 5 in the morning and I had to bank the boiler. In other words, I had to put coal in the boiler. Wow. <laughs> to, to beat the building up, so it was very important that I be here that early. The big difference was population. The school was much smaller, people were more intimate, you know. Back then I knew everybody by name and everybody knew me. And it was, more like a family type thing. So Manny, you have three children. Did you send them all to Brooklyn Friends? My oldest son, he attended probably one year back in the 70s. And then Kevin and Karen, they both they both attended school here. Karen graduated in 85. And Kevin left here on the eighth grade. Can you relate any stories about your interactions with other students here? Uh, there's a couple of guys. There's Tony Smith, when he's a young, young guy, he used to work with me in the school. And he's like the 
a director at the uh, facilities in St. Anne's. Brooklyn, he graduated from Brooklyn Bank. So. And um, she was Seth. Seth Phillips, the assistant head of school. He also worked when he was a young kid. I mean, I think Manny is like Manny is now. He was just a nice guy who didn't say much, but would basically, I did a lot of painting in the summers and he would basically hand us a brush and a bunch of paint and, and tell us to go. And we went off and did the work and, you know, every once in a while we'd get a grumble for not doing the things properly. But basically he was a very nice person to work for. So Manny was your supervisor. So what's it like now to be Manny's supervisor? So. I don't think I am Manny's supervisor. I'm not sure who is. Um, I would say to you that I have, in this year, I think I've learned more from him than he's learned from me. I've talked to him about the building, and he's given me great stories that I didn't know about and didn't know when I was a kid. And uh, I think he's the same guy. He's quiet, he's understated, but he gets the job done. Those are two guys. And some of the people that I still know, like Kenny Adams. Kenneth Adams, he's now the commissioner of the New York State Department of Economic Development. There's not too many more because I really don't mingle with the... With the students. Know, um, yeah, way back it was yeah. much smaller so everybody knew you, but now it's, it's a different story. Now. Yeah. What's the difference between like managing you know, one building and now it's managing three buildings? Ooh. And, and Lowry Street, Everything is, it's on the computer now, you know, the heating system and whatever else. But the building itself is in pretty, you know, pretty good shape, you know, it's not much they have to do. And over here, with all the new renovations and, I mean, there's always something here. There's always a, there's always a changeover. But no matter how new the room is, they'll always specify something else, you know. Okay, a bulletin board here, or put shelves here. Even though the room was designed and everything, it's, 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 but that's part of the that's part of the maintenance job. Were there any uh, uh, times where uh, you know th there was an emergency happening at the school that had to be taken care of when you had to jump into that? Frame? Many times, yeah. Well, one time the the kids were in the school we, they were rehearsing for a play because at that time. Somehow the teachers would stay much longer in the building. Anyway, they called me about two in the morning that there was a big leak in the stairwell. And what happened was that there's a there's a there's an inch and a quarter pipe that runs parallel on the stairwell, <laughs> and the kids jumped on it. it when he when he jumped on it, it just popped, and then it just flooded the whole basement out. Oh. So that was about two in the morning. I had to come and uh, shut off the uh, the supply valves and everything like that. What would be your advice to the person who's taking over your position? First of all, you gotta, now you got to deal with a lot of a lot of people and, and and many 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 work orders. And it has to be a person that's going to be a hands-on guy. It has to be somebody that's going to work with the guys and uh, hopefully the. It'll be somebody from the inside. What do you think you're gonna miss about not being here? Probably the routine. You know, the getting up in the morning, coming here. I'm gonna miss probably the atmosphere, you know, being around people all the time and then you're gonna sort of isolate yourself. No, no, I'm gonna stay busy, that's for sure. Why did you make Brooklyn Friends School your career? I probably could have moved on quite a few times after that. It was just the atmosphere and the way people treated you and it was really, that's what really sort of kept me here. And, um, or, and the respect that people gave you, which, you know, which was very nice. For me, or, you know, it's, it's a good place to work. <laughs> Thank you, Manny, for the interview and for all of your service to Brooklyn Friends. And this is Andy Cohen signing off for The Life for Season 2. I'd like to thank everyone who made the show possible. And 
remember to let your life 